How's it going guys? TJ here. So uh, I haven't done a general video in quite a while, just kind of going through topics that I want to discuss. So I want to do that here for you guys in this video. Um, I want to talk about my Black Friday deals that I got. I want to talk about a little bit about the NES Classic that Nintendo still has not gotten in stock in, in most places. Um, and that's kind of a, a sort of subject for a lot of people. Um, uh, I guess just the ones that didn't get one. And then there's also uh, another thing I want to discuss, and that is the uh, the new streaming TV service from AT&T called DirecTV Now. And I'll kind of give you some insight on what I think about it and uh, how it compares to something like Sling TV that the competition, this network, owns. So let me go ahead and start first with my Black Friday deals. So I got the... Uh, this. Linksys Napstring AC1900 NU9 router, of course, meaning multi user, multi input, multi output. Uh, and that really just means that you're going to be able to have uh, multiple streams of data at once with no performance issues, uh, which is the main selling point that uh, I upgraded my router. Uh, believe it or not, I actually had not upgraded my, my router in three years. Um, I had another Linksys router, uh, and it did me just fine for a long time. Uh, but uh, it was an AC router, but it was one of the first AC uh, routers that came out. And so now that I upgraded to this one, I'm really excited because it's really, this is ideal. If you have tons of Wi-Fi devices, especially ones that will be streaming 4K video, this is the, a great router to have. With the uh, 1.4 gigahertz dual clip processor that's included uh, in this router, you can actually have up to three simultaneous streams of data, which is just, again, awesome if you have a lot of devices in the house, uh, maybe multiple people living with you, maybe you're in a college dorm room, or you're just at home with multiple users, no matter what your environment may be, you're going to really appreciate the performance of this router. Um, and uh, setup was easy, although I would probably argue that most modern routers are easy to set up, um, really not rocket science, um, and it has just been great. Now, of course, the other benefit to this is um, I would argue one of the best companion apps for any router is for, from Linksys, the smart Wi-Fi app is just excellent. <coughs> Excuse me. The Smart Wi-Fi app that they um obviously you can download for free, uh that Linksys develops is just one of the best, like I said. Um and obviously that is compatible with all modern Linksys routers. So um you will also find that really useful as well. So if you are in the market to upgrade to that uh, to a new router and you had that kind of criteria that you need to meet. This router, the again, it's the AC1900 NU90, uh, just an excellent router to have. Um, and especially if you're also moving into, like I am, uh, streaming TV, or I guess internet TV, if you will. Um, I'm currently using Sling uh, full time and then using Sling for a couple of months, couple of months now. I am still testing out DirecTV now, uh, but I'll get to that topic in just a moment. But first, I do want to tell you about my other um, Black Friday deal that I got from Newegg. For 60 bucks, I got this uh, SanDisk SSD Plus 230 gig uh, SSD that I'll be installing uh, probably tomorrow into my desktop. Um, uh, I know if you saw my previous videos, but I did get a Lenovo desktop back in September, and it's an awesome deal. I got it for 500 and the specifications are just awesome on it. Um, but unfortunately, the one thing it didn't have was an SSD. So now I can finally solve that, and I think a pretty good price as well. And just, I have to say, this random thought here is, you know what? The prices of SSDs have come down so much in just the past year or two. It's not even funny. 
Um, so that's pretty awesome too. And on top of that, uh, oh, and by the way, uh, if you do want to check out New Egg, and no, I'm not getting paid for this, obviously, just, I'm just saying, a lot of times the best deals on SSDs that you will get are on New Egg. Now, sometimes those are no-name brands that you've never heard of, but other times, like the standard one, um, which is... Personally, I like to buy name brand. Now, I know some people could uh, give me arguments against why that might not uh, be uh, logical or whatever, but I just like to have the peace of mind I'm buying from uh, something that I have known for years. Sandisk is obviously one of the leaders in storage, so I just like to do that. That's me personally, though. Everyone is different. So, with that being said, moving on to... Oops. Okay, so moving on to my next topic here is the NES Classic. So this is kind of a sort of subject, like I said at the beginning of the video. Um, for some people, don't even want to talk about it. But, you know, it's one of those things where uh, I have been hunting for this thing since November 11th when it got released. Uh, I made the mistake of not going out, <coughs> excuse me, in waiting in line for the uh, NES Classic, and I kind of regret it now because um, I just had not been able to get my hands on one at all, and I probably won't be able to realistically until after Christmas now, um, unless we all get a surprise and Nintendo starts uh, sending plentiful stock to retail stores. I just don't see that happening, and that's just a real shame because so many of us just not play these classic games and we can't because these darn scalpers just like to um they like to get the stock that the that these stores may have and then sell them on ebay for uh, astronomical prices we're talking in some cases over a thousand dollars for the nes classic which is the retail value is only sixty dollars so it's kind of a sad thing that these people just take take advantage of the situation just to make a, a huge profit and i understand business is business and money is money but you know uh i don't want to make a profit on it. i don't want to sell at all i just want to play the games and uh so some of the blame does go to nintendo as well now i don't know if this is a intentional marketing strategy to try to drive up hype for the product from on nintendo side that it really was just an underestimation as to how huge the demand would be. But either way, some of that blame does go back to Nintendo because they did not uh, obviously need enough stock to go around. Um, so that's my little tangent on that. And about the... Um, now moving on to something that I actually do think will be the most useful thing of this video, and that is that... Uh, AT&T just released on November 30th, so yesterday, um, the, the DirecTV Now service, which is a direct competitor to services like Sling, who is owned by their competition, Dish Network. And now the price is a little different. You're looking at a, a starting price of $35 as compared to Sling's starting price of $20. But you do get definitely more channels. Now, it's interesting. Uh, they have different packages starting with, um, starting with a small package and then going up to, they call it the gold big package, which is over 100 channels. Um, but the interesting thing right now is uh, DirecTV Now is offering uh, limited time pricing. So you, whether or not you get the small package or the gold big package, it's still $35 for, for the, both of them. It's just pretty interesting. Now, this is only limited time pricing, and I expect that they will eventually um, send, us, you know, send you an email when they uh, intend to raise the price on you, um, which is, I guess, only to be expected. But this is just really compelling because... As we go on, I think the streaming TV market is going to really heat up, which is great news for consumers because right now, cable companies are becoming greedier and greedier, as 
I'm sure I don't have to tell you guys, you already know. And there's a little example of time on the cable, especially in certain areas like mine, they want astronomical places just for cable boxes and equipment fees and things like that. It's just ridiculous. So, with these services like DirecTV Now and Sling, consumers are the only ones that win, and that's a good thing. So, uh, DirecTV Now, I think, is probably going to be my suggestion to you guys to try out. If you don't have either service, you don't have Sling or DirecTV Now, and you want to try one out, I would say go for DirecTV Now to try it out. Now, I currently have Sling, and I'm not yet ready to say that I'm going to switch over to DirecTV now for the simple fact that I like the $20 price point for one. And for two, I don't watch a slew of channels. I only watch a few channels in my day-to-day -day usage, and that's it. So to me, even though the obvious financial uh, value might be in DirecTV now, considering that you pay less per channel, I guess, if you figure it that way. Um, I almost think that it's just simple enough to stick with Sling, for me, personally, $20 a month, and, you know, I still get those few channels that I like to watch. So, you know, it's a it's a balancing act to decide what, what package and what service really fits you best. But either way, I'm still saying it. Definitely check out Sling, uh, excuse me, check out DirecTV now. Um, and if you don't really think you need all those channels, you can always cancel anytime and maybe check out Sling after that. But um, definitely pretty cool. Now, it's not all happy good news with DirecTV now. The only downside that I can find, at least, is that they don't currently support Roku. And that's a major downside. That's like a come on, DirecTV now. Like, oh, it just made me want to scream. Because it's like, something is huge. I mean, Roku has a huge piece of the market for streaming services. And the fact that there is no threat for Roku until early 2017, isn't, I guess I should admit, it's really not that long away. But there's no specific date, and that's what drives me nuts. They're just saying sometime in early 2017, we should see support for Roku. But until then, uh, DirecTV Now is only on Apple devices like the Apple TV, iPad, iPhone, and things like that. Um, and I don't recall if it's on Android yet. It might be, but don't quote me on that. So with that being said, though, I hope this kind of gives you some insight into what service might be like to you and might not be. And with that being said, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys very soon. Until next time, peace out for now.